Coming to quantum mechanics, these are the important topics, particle in a box, harmonic oscillator, hydrogen atom, commutators, collapse postulate. In particle in a box, you have to see how to write Schrodinger equation in all regions. These are the possible types of questions that can come in particle in a box, like infinite potential box, and finite here, infinite here, infinite here, finite here, finite in both of these places, and a step potential and a potential barrier. So these are the possible type of questions that can come in particle in a box. So in all these questions, all these types, you have to see how to write Schrodinger equation in all the regions. For example, here, there are three regions, one, two, three. You have to know how to write Schrodinger equation in all these three regions. Here also, one, two, three regions, three regions, three regions, two regions, three regions. So in all these regions, you have to know how to write scoring equations. You have to know how to include the boundary conditions. What are the boundary conditions? And eigenfunctions and eigenstates. You don't have to know the exact eigenfunction for these types of potential wells, but you have to know how, how it is derived. Don't mug up the derivation, but see the derivation you will you will understand the concepts that will help you to answer questions that will be asked in the interview so see the derivation understand it you will get some transcendental equations here then to solve it you have to use graphical method i will discuss some questions that can arise from here but what you have to do is you have to get a general picture so i will attach a, a pdf in the description box so you can download that file from there it is the it is pdf of a career endeavor so all these things are explained in that in a brief manner so that is what you require you do not need deep understanding you don't have time for that uh, if you are having a two two week window for the interview so see that pdf and understand how what are the solutions how the differential equations are written how the Schrodinger equation are written for all these scenarios, how the boundary conditions is applied, and how it is solved. So just see that. Don't mug up that, just understand that. And for harmonic oscillator, you can refer to the PDF that I am attaching, attaching in the description box for this also. And half harmonic oscillator is important in this part. Most of the questions will be from half harmonic oscillator. And hydrogen atom, they will not ask difficult questions they will not ask you to derive this derive how to find the solution of this hydrogen atom but still you have to understand how it is derived just go through that so all these all the topics that i uh, i am telling here are present in the pdf that i am that i am attaching so kindly refer that it is enough to see these points they will not ask other than these topics in quantum mechanics if you are going to attend an interview in condensed matter physics, experimental or theoretical field. And collapse postulate. Collapse postulate can be simply explained as collapse postulate. So consider a particle. We are measuring a physical property of this particle. Say it can be energy, momentum, anything. We are measuring a physical property. Okay. Suppose, suppose the wave function of this particle is a superposition of many eigenstates. You can write it like this. C1 into phi1 plus C2 phi 2 plus c3 phi 3 suppose the wave function of this particle is a con the superposition of these three eigenstates now we are measuring that physical property of that particle using some measuring device okay some using some device we are measuring the particular physical property it can be energy momentum or anything we are measuring it then the result we get can be lambda 1, lambda 2 or lambda 3. 
where lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are eigenvalues. Lambda, lambda 1 corresponding to phi 1, lambda 2 corresponding to phi 3, lambda 2 uh, corresponding to phi 2, lambda 3 corresponding to phi 3. We can get any of these values with probability c1 square, c2 square, and c3 square. Suppose we get lambda 2. Okay. So we are taking a particle and measuring the physical property, any physical property, energy, momentum, or anything, and we are getting a particular value. Suppose 23 joule, or uh, if it is a momentum, then 23 kilogram meter per second, like that. Then, again, we are taking the particle after this. After this. After this. After getting the value lambda 2, we are, we are taking the same particle and measuring the same physical property. In the initial step, if you have measured energy, then now also you are measuring energy. Then what happens is that we will get the same value. We The probability for getting lambda 1 and lambda 3 is 0. And the probability for getting lambda 2 is 100 percentage. If we measure it, it is sure that the eigenvalue or the value that we get is lambda 2. What happens is that when we take the particle whose wave function is superposition of more than one eigenstates, if we measure it using a particular device or any device, and if we get a particular value, eigenvalue, then the, uh, soon after we measure it, as soon as we measure it, what happens is that the wave function of the particle will, will collapse to that particular eigenfunction whose eigenvalue we have obtained. Suppose here, if we measure the particle's property, we are getting lambda 2. Then now the wave function of the particle is simply phi 2. Now the wave function of the particle after measuring is simply phi 2. So after this, whatever the method you use to measure that particular property, you will always get the same value lambda 2 because the wave function of the particle have collapsed into that particular eigenstate. That is phi 2. So this is the simple explanation for collapse postulate.